Dear students, please note down. These notes have been uploaded in the description of video. Please download your notes. Dear students, in our last lecture, we have discussed exoskeleton of pigeon. Dear students, exoskeleton in pigeon that consists of four exoskeletal structures. Ramputhika of beak, class present on toes of hind limb, and dear students, scales which are again present on hind limbs. And the fourth one, that exoskeleton, very important for all higher studies, feathers. Now down, feathers in this lecture. I will clear different types of feathers. First type is quills. Dear students, quills and these feathers, quills, which are present on wings and tail. So the quills are classified in two groups. The quills which are present on wings are called wing quills or these are ramages. Singularly, these are called ramex, while the quills which are present on uropygium, on tail region. Dear students, these are named tail quills or rectrices. Now down this important lecture for BSc, MSc students. Types of feathers. And dear students, first type is quills. And the quills are present on wings and tail region. So these are of two types, wing quills or these are named scientifically, scientifically these are named ramages or ramex, while the quills which are present on tail uropygium are named tail quills or rectrices. Ramages or wing quills. In case of fusion, these are 23 in number. Not down, dear students, all competitive, competitive exam students. The wing quills or ramages or ramex, these are 23 in case of pigeon on each wing. Out of these 23, 12 are present on this ulna bone. These are attached with this ulna bone. So, these are ulna. Out of these 23, 12 are which associate with this ulna bone are secondaries or cubitals. Next 11, which are attached to hand. These are primaries or manuals. Dear students, in case of patient, the wing quills, the ramages, the ramex. These are 23 in number and out of these 23, 12 which are present on this ulna bone, these are ulnar or secondaries or cubitals, while the remaining 11 wing quills which are attached to the hand region, these are primaries or manuals. Out of these 11, Six are metacarpals and these metacarpals are attached to the carpometacarpus. While the remaining five which are attached to this third and second digit are named digital. And these out of these five digitals, first two digitals are pre-digitals and these pre-digitals are attached to the distal phalanx of second digit. Next two are mid digitals and these mid -dig digitals are attached to this proximal part of second digit. While this last fifth one is that is add digital and this add digital is attached to this third digit. Dear students, first five are digital because these are attached to the second and third digit. 
these six are metacarpals which are attached to this carpometacarpus and these 12 are secondaries or cubitals which are attached to this ulna bone and dear students here no doubt the anterior side of this first digit here a tuft of soft feathers and this is called bastard wing or it is false wing or it is again it is named alaspuria all competitive competitive exam students note down in case of pigeon the wing quills are 23 on each wing 23 wing quills or ramages are present these are classified in two groups secondaries and primaries secondaries which are attached to this ulna bone while the 11 which are primaries or these are manuals which are attached to the head in some words the upper region of this forearm also consists of feathers these are tertiaries while these secondaries and primaries always attest on the lower surface of forearm next one is tail quills no doubt tail quills are commonly called rectrices dear students this is europygium tail region on this europygium tail region in case of pigeon these are 12 tail quills or rectrices and the arrangement of this rectrices that is semi circular it is fan like arrangement and these tail quills or rectrices which act as break in a lightning. Dear student, the structure of these tail quills and wing quills, structurally these are similar except the size of tail quills that is smaller. This central axis it is ratchet or it is shaft. In case of wing quill, this ratchet divide, divides this expanded part vein vagulum into two unequal halves. But here, in case of tail quill, this central axis ratchet or shaft which divides this expanded part vein vagulum into two equal halves. Next type is cowards. First type quills and the quills these feathers are present on wings and tail region. So the quills are of two types. The quills present on wing are wing quills or ramages. And the quills which are present on tail europaikium are tail quills or rectrices. And dear student, the next type is cowards. As name indicates, cowards. And these cowards are present at the basis of wing quills as well as tail quills. It means these gaps of wing quills and the gaps between the basis of tail quills are filled with small cowards that's why these are named cowards because these cowards these small feathers which cover which fill the gaps present between the basis of wing quills and tail quills as a result these cowards produce a continuous area which opposes that continuous area opposes the buoyancy of air. Dear students, this is all about quills and covers. The quills which are present on wings are called wing quills or ramages while the 
quills which are present on tail europaecium are tail quills or rectrices and the next type that is coverts and the coverts which fill the gaps present between these wing quills and tail quills are named coverts so they produce a continuous area to oppose the buoyancy of air